You know, we as legislators in our government not only represent the small businesses here, you who represent the small businesses, there's another component to this, and I'd like to get some testimony on the record. And that is the consumer, the people who purchase the products, the goods, and the services that these small businesses provide. A couple years ago, the Thruway Authority, who, by the way, I don't think they got the tolls off by the end of the 1990s, as they th said they would. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Said they wanted a 45% toll increase. Several of us at this table said, hold it. You had a hearing across the state three or four, but they never had one in the capital region. I think the business council and your organizations uh, were at that meeting. We had a hearing here ourselves. And the input we got there was going to impact small businesses, going to impact the trucking industry. They're going to get off the thruway and take some of the back roads which go in and out of municipalities and ruin their roads, maybe impact uh, the kids who are walking to school. But also, every banana, every orange, every apple, every bag of potato chips, uh, the milk and the bread my wife will call me on later on and say to pick up before I come home, is going to increase in cost and price. I think this is the other part of the component. Yeah, these small businesses are going to lose money. Yes, we are going to lose jobs in New York State. And somebody mentioned it. We're going to have some outsiders look at this is not a good place to do business. It's really a bad place to do business. They keep piling on. But I think we need some testimony on who's really going to pay for these goods and these services uh, and these products when this costs the small businesses more money, and maybe you can expound on that, on exactly what's going to happen. They're not going to go out of business if they can't. So in order to stay in business, keep these people workers, something's got to happen with the consumer and their costs. Sure. Um, if you look at it, uh, more and more, particularly with our <coughs> brick and mortar businesses, you're facing on-demand consumers. They expect to enter your place of business and be provided with the goods and service right there and then. And as a business owner, you're competing with online services all the time. So if I can't provide that good, that service right then and there, they're not coming back. Their friends aren't coming through my door. I think a good example is you look at uh, car washes, okay? You're probably not gonna have people going to the car washes today, or maybe not tomorrow. It's not a weather event three days from now. Now, instead of having the usual number of cars come in to your car wash, they're lined up, which is great for you. But now I have to call in employees that I never thought I would have to. And if I don't, guess what? They're not coming back. So it does have an impact on consumers. 